The subject of management is renowned for its addictions to fads and fashions. Project management is no exception. The issue of interest for this paper is the establishment of the College of Complex Project Managers and their competency standards for complex project managers. Both have generated significant interest and, like any other human endeavour, they should be subject to critical evaluation. The results of our evaluation show significant flaws in the definition of complex in this case, the process by which the college and its standards have emerged, and the content of the standards. However, there is a significant case for a portfolio of research that extends the existing bodies of knowledge into large-scale complicated or major projects that will be owned by the relevant practitioner communities rather than focused on one organization. Harvey Miller and myself propose research questions that would commence this stream of activity towards to what we think would be an intelligent synthesis of what is required to manage complicated projects in truly complex environments. We have three main concerns. The first concerns the nature of complex and complexity being discussed in the standards. Secondly, the process by which the college and the standards has emerged. And third, the contents of the standards and its implications. Complex systems are necessarily impressively hard to model. To say that a system is complex is to say that it can at any moment move between order and chaos without becoming fixed in either state. Furthermore, to say that a, a complex system adapts is to say that it responds to information by changing. Another defining characteristic of a complex system not mentioned in the standards is that they are decentralized and tend to self-organize globally as a result of many simple local interactions. These are significant characteristics of a complex system and one should have a deep appreciation for them before one applies the characterization of complex to a project with the intention of applying some new management methodology. Complexity theory has been liberally applied uh, over the last decade to many disciplines as disparate as astronomy, biology, physics and finance in an attempt to solve complex problems. Much theory building and modeling of complex systems has taken place but very few practical tools have been developed to manage or control complex systems. Traditional methods are often the only option humans have to master some sort of control of a complex system. A flock of birds is a pattern of birds that can be stable for a period of time. A school of fish or a swarm of bees or ants, can, they can be defined similarly. The price of goods and services emerge from the accumulated interactions of buyers and sellers. A, a rugby pack forms, gains ground and scores. Now, alternatively, within seconds, chaos reigns and disappointment follows. Not for the barbarians that day, of course. Uh, forest fires, rainforests, oceans, the deserts, traffic jams. Uh, this, I'll return to this image shortly. Um, this is of a, a, a junction in, in Delhi. And you see the sort of swarming characteristics of uh, traffic. They sort of bunch up breakthrough, humans intermingle with cars and so forth. Human crowd behavior, governments, the family, and of course the weather. The spread of infectious diseases and the spread of infectious ideas. <laughs> Harvey Mailer at Cranfield and Richard Vidgen at Bath have observed that project managers have a wide and diverse set of applications for the term complex. For example, they do not draw distinction between complex and complicated. Complex is often seen as the logical complement of simple. The complex project management standards have made a similar mistake. 
Section 3 of the standards defines the characteristics of complex projects and it does this by using the language of complexity science words such as open, dynamic, recursive, non-linear feedback and emergent however these are not the characteristics of the projects cited in the definition and they're certainly not the characteristics of the projects managed by the college fellows the game of chess is used to exemplify dynamic complexity where parts of the system can react and interact however chess is a two-player time and turn based game with a clear set of deterministic rules the system is not open it's played on a square board of eight rows and eight columns and, eight, and each player begins with an identical set of 16 pieces a king, a queen, two rooks and so on extra squares never emerge and when two pawns are next to each other they do not turn into a jester with a whole new set of movement rules each player's move ultimately is focused on capturing their opponent's king and each piece has a well-defined set of rules concerning how it moves and how it captures other pieces the movements of each of the pieces cannot be described as dynamic or emergent consider the king, king a piece that can only move one square in any which way at any one time once in every game a king is allowed a special move known as castling the novice or non-player might describe the king's behavior as complex but those well versed in the game of chess consider the behavior knowable complicated maybe not knowing when and where in time castling will occur but still predictable because only a limited number of moves are technically possible the behavior is still not non-linear or emergent when a player's pawn advances to the 8th rank and gets promoted to a queen, a rook or a knight almost always a queen because the behavior is still deterministic it is causally determined by an unbroken chain of prior moves simply having unforeseen events that occur during daily project work activities is not evidence of a complex project unforeseen events are inevitable in, to some degree in almost all projects therefore without defining the level and the challenges of complexity it is unsupportable to claim that a completely new way of managing is required to control these unforeseen events uncertainty is a fundamental characteristic of all projects as most introductory texts will testify high levels of uncertainty may indicate a dynamic project but this does not provide an exclusive definition many small and relatively simple projects can be classified as complex by this definition and indeed there are well developed responses to these situations the fellows of the college have been responsible for the installation of gas and oil pipelines, railroads, shuttle engines, combat ships missile software, civil engineering and offshore structures to name but a few complicated though they may be if all their parts are inert they are not complex their behavior as a whole may be entirely understood by reducing them to their parts Peter Morris and George Huff in The Anatomy of Major Projects categorize the projects I just mentioned as major projects as does the UK Major Projects Association the types of projects referred to in the standards may not meet the measure of being complex but the social environment in which they take place they do the fellows of the college have therefore managed major complicated projects in complex social environments but as for dealing with uncertainty this is the case for the majority of project management practitioners.